call for action in the wake of the Florida school shooting that left 17 people dead did reach North Texas today. Thousands rallied from Dallas to Fort Worth, Denton to McKinney, all calling for changes. J.D. Miles with our top story now at 10 o'clock. Now is the time to stand up. From the steps of Tarrant County's old courthouse. You can try to shut us up, but you can't shut us down. To the plaza outside Dallas City Hall. This is what democracy looks like. Young people demanding to be heard converge nationwide and in three North Texas cities, calling for more gun control legislation. A universal background check should be implemented as a logical first step. I'm here just standing up for what I believe in, trying to make a change. These two students from Keller and Hearst, along with a parent, say the school shooting in Parkland, Florida last month drove them here. I've been following it for a while, and then I saw that it started blowing up on social media after the Florida shooting, and that kind of motivated me even more to stand up for it. I'm completely proud of her and her friends who are very active and vocal about it. Thousands filled downtowns in both cities, as well as Denton and McKinney. 3,500 innocent children. There were a few opposing voices trying to be heard, but police officers were placed between them and the marchers. Then it was time to hit the streets of downtown Fort Worth. We want change and we want it now. And Dallas. Double. With signs that attack the NRA, as well as politicians for failing to act on school shootings and other examples of gun violence. What do y'all want to see done? Change. I want to see a lot of change. A voter registration drive at each march was included to show that these young people can mobilize not only a historic rally, but also a powerful political base. We may just be the children of today, but we are the voters of tomorrow. Dallas police estimate as many as 5,000 people filled City Hall Plaza. Fort Worth estimates its crowd size at 6,000. Police report no violence or arrests at either event. In Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.